Hi everyone, it's Danny here. Another seesaw tutorial for you today. This time I'm going to show you how you can create your own drag and drop style activities in Seesaw. So the first thing you want to do is go to your green add button and assign an activity. And once you're in there, you want to create a new activity. And for the purpose of this one, I'm just going to create uh, an activity where students have to put something in the right alphabetical order. Alphabetical order and my instructions. So I'm just going to say, move the objects around and put them in the right alphabetical order. Now, I want to be able to um, add some icons here as well to help our visual learners. Um, so there's this Seesaw icon shortcut, which I'll link in the description below, which allows you to actually put the icons in the, um, the activity description. So I want to use two of these. So I want to use the tick one, which is check. So I'll type it exactly like that. And at the beginning, I also want to put this one so that students actually know which um, thing that they need to press. So I will need to press that, put that in here as well. So when I save this, you'll actually see those icons come up. So obviously you can add your voice instructions, but for this one, what you want to do is add a template for student responses. So you press on this and you go to drawing. Now, I won't go into all the details of how you can decorate this. That's something that you can probably have a play around with yourself. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to create five text boxes that are drag and droppable. So we're just going to press the T and I'm going to type in some names, move it around. There we go. We can change the style here. So I'm just going to make it all newspaper and I might make it red. All right. So let's add our other ones. It should follow the same um, text type that I've just used there. Yes, it has. All right, so I'll just sort of drag them wherever. It doesn't really matter where, you can put them all in a nice neat row if you want. And I'm sure you've probably got a thousand other ideas for drag and drop activities, but hopefully this will give you enough of those skills that you can do that. So once you've got what you want there, just press the tick button. There we go, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, obviously with your more options, you can add some notes that are only visible to you. Uh, you can add some skills if you want to, if you've got them. Uh, so from here, we're just going to press save and it goes to the preview of your activity. And you can see there's the icons that I typed in before and they're there. Um, everything looks pretty good. I can press assign. I'm going to assign that to my class here. I might want to save it in a particular folder or only assign it to particular students. So this is where I can choose that. In the folders here, I'm just going to pick my first one, say, all right, it's going to go in there and I can select skills again there. You can also schedule it if you want to by doing that there. And we're just going to assign it to the class. So once you've done that, you can go back to your class and you can see that that activity has been assigned. And from the student's view, what they will see is the red one above the activities. And I just need to tap that. And I can read the instructions. I can listen to the teacher instructions if they're also there. I just want to hit add a response and it should take you straight to that template. So if I can't remember what the instructions were, I can go back and it says, all right, move. So this is the icon I need to be looking for and which is down the bottom here. So it's already selected. So I just need to put these in the right order. Doesn't have to be perfect for this example. Press the tick. You might want your students to add a caption or something like that, which is pretty simple. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you create your own drag and drop activity. If you do create some of these, it's a really great idea to share them with the wider Seesaw community. That way students and teachers from around the world can use the activities that you've created. Um, you can probably go in there and find a million and one activities that you could use tomorrow. Right? Hope you've enjoyed this Seesaw tutorial. Catch you next time.